Oh, good news, good news, good news. Uh, it's a big trade for Christie Guitars. Um, Warwick Corvette Standard Bass. Got it all back together. I've got a problem with the tuners, but I'll mention that. I'll talk to John about that. He knows all about them anyway. All I've done here is I've just put the nuts on. I've already got the frets done anyway, levelled and crowned and everything. So I thought I'd bang my nuts on, bang my tuners on, and just have a little play with it. And let me tell you, I don't know if you can see the action from here. The action on this is immense. I've got the action nice and low. The neck is absolutely straight as a die. Uh, I'll put the strings on, obviously, it got, we've got some, uh, got a lot of relief in there. So I tightened it, a couple of turns on the truss rod, absolutely fine. My neck's beautifully straight. And so I just thought, just to tease John a little bit, I'll give you a little demo. Um, sounds absolutely beautiful. I'm going to put a bit of overdrive on there, and I'm going to have a drum track, and I'm just going to play a little bit. Now, I'm not a bassist, so don't expect frills and spills everywhere. Well, more spills and frills, but uh, you know, see how we go on. Sounds absolutely beautiful. I don't know what you thought of me playing there. So the bass, it's not done. It needs, um, I've got to do the finishing on the back of the neck there, the wood, but I'm going to show you. I know the light's not brilliant in here. Let me turn this amp off, get buzzing a bit. I've just put the tuners back on. We've got a problem with a couple of tuners that are stripped inside this barrel. Now what I've done is I've put a temporary fix by this adjuster on the uh, bar on top with the thread on it. I've actually put some tape around it, tying it in so it's grip tighter. But that is not going to hold. It's both these on. It's, it's actually it's both these underneath. This is the main one, but both these now. Nah. Warwick know there's an issue with these tuners, um, but they haven't recorded them ever. And we're not paying for them, so I would go and replace these. You can get some direct replacements from Cluzon now. Cluzon are a top top brand. And you can get a full set for 28 quid delivered. I think it's 28 quid. Yeah, it's about 28 quid delivered. I would definitely go that route, but I'll talk to John about that. Anyway, show you again. I want to show you the neck. It's super straight, it's as straight as you want it for playing. We've still got plenty of turns left to have on the thing. I am going to go as far to say now, don't get me wrong, I've played a lot of bases over the years, and my last decent one I probably played was years ago, it was a Westone type Fonda thing. I'm not going to go with that like that, looks wrong. Uh, but, um, I dare say, as much as I'm against companies like Warwick overcharging for their guitars and using cheap components and blah 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 blah, this is probably one of the best basses I've ever played. Yeah, the neck is an absolute dream to play. Um, like I said, I've got all the frets level, I've leveled all them out yesterday, polished them. It plays beautiful. If I, I won't go as far as buying one, but if I could get one cheap, I'd probably get one. I'd definitely use it in a studio. Getting back to what I need to do to finish this base, well, I've got a couple of dings in it which I'm going to steam out. I've still got to do the final sanding down here. Um, it's actually really, really nice. I don't know how much of the grain in that you can see. That's a really good job. I am, to say I'm over the moon about this neck, I'm more than pleased because the amount of work I've had to do on it, filling the gaps and everything. There's a couple of finished things I've got to do. I've got to sand this because it's still a bit rough. I'll get it all done this week because the oil is not going to arrive till about Wednesday, so I can't finish it till then anyway. So that's all I've got to do. I've got final sanding to do, the oiling to do. Regarding these screws in the back, where remember I said these were too long, and they actually went into the fretboard. We didn't just go in the neck, it went into the neck and the fretboard. I've actually chopped four mil off each of these screws here, so now it just goes into the neck part of the heel, not the fretboard. So it's not going to push the fretboard up. I think you'll agree with me that this guitar, this bass, looks absolutely stunning. 
I know for a fact, I know John's an emotional man. I know he's going to be absolutely over the moon with this. Uh, the other thing I don't like about it is this penis here. It's pathetic. Why? What? What? Why? Just why? That's it. Anyway, I just wanted to show, do a little video for John. Uh, show it plays well. The action's amazing. Um, it's come out better than I thought it would do. So I'm really, really pleased with that. So I'll go back to you soon. This is for John. John's eyes only. I'll talk to you soon, mate. Don't worry.